Good morning, Cutter Morning Star High School students and parents. We wanted to get some information to you this morning. Our staff is here at Cutter Morning Star High School contacting as many of our parents and students uh, as we possibly can. Your CAPS advisor is the staff person designated to contact you. They're going to be asking some specific questions to make sure you have what you need from school uh, for these days that we are out. First of all, they're gonna want to know if you need any food in terms of breakfast and lunch. Dr. Anderson has been able to uh, make sure that any person 18 years and younger can eat breakfast and lunch free and she has worked with our cafeteria to make sure that we provide those lunches and breakfast to you. We just need to know who needs those breakfast and lunch. So one of the first questions that our CAPS advisors will be asking you is do you need breakfast and lunch and how many and how many days? Those will be delivered to you via school vehicle through our bus routes or they will ask you if you're able to come up and pick those up uh, in the cafeteria. If you are able to pick those up in the cafeteria, you'll follow our high school route um, into the entrance of our campus, drive in front of the cafeteria, someone will deliver those out to your car, then you'll drive around behind the elementary school and out the bus uh, uh, barn uh, exit. We'll also be asking about our AMI packets. Our teachers prepared and sent those home to you earlier in the school year. We want to make sure you have those and that you have what you need in order to successfully complete those AMI packets. Some of those uh, packets contain, or some of the work contained in those packets are things that you can do without uh, internet. There may be some things in your AMI packet that does require internet. Your teachers will be asking you, do you have internet service at your home? If so, do you have a device? If you do not have a device, but you do have internet, we will be checking out Chromebooks to you through the high school library. Mr. Martinez will be working to make sure that those Chromebooks are available to you. If you can let uh, your teacher know, your CAPS advisor know when they call, then we can have those available either for you to pick up with your lunch or we can uh, send those to you uh, uh, with our meals in our school vehicles or your parents may come up and check those out today. We will need to make sure that we check those out to you as a student because you will be responsible for uh, maintaining those in a, or, uh, in a working fashion and getting those uh, checked back in to us. I know some of you did not get to complete your nine weeks grades. I know grades uh, were, uh, the end of the nine weeks was last Friday. We are going to extend that for those students who were not able to take nine weeks test. Uh, that's mostly seventh and eighth graders. Uh, we do have some students that have incompletes at the high school level. We're gonna make sure that you have an opportunity to make up any work that you miss before we uh, close school this week. Let me also remind those of you that are working on your, uh, on your um, credit recovery classes, you'll be getting information from Mrs. Babb and Mr. Carter about how you can continue to work on your uh, credit recovery courses. Uh, and again, if you need a device to be able to do that, as your CAPS uh, advisor calls, please let them know that. If you do not get a phone call today from your CAPS advisor, please call our high school office at 262-2414 and let us know what you need. There are many uh, uh, other items uh, that may come up, uh, information that we want to get out to you. A couple of other quick things while I'm thinking of it. Nurse Katie will be calling our parents. If you have any medication here at school, she will need you to come pick that up. Parents, you will have to sign out for it. 
uh, so that if you need that over the long haul, you have that available to you as well. Um, those are the things that I can think of today. There will be someone here at school manning the phones all week. Uh, that will that number again at the high school is 262-2414, option two, and someone uh, will be in the office. So uh, please, if you have any questions or concerns, you also can um, contact us uh, via email here at school. Um, and we will try to get out more information as we can. Please take care. Please contact us if you need us. Please let us know what questions that you have that we may not be thinking about to answer for you. Take care, stay healthy, and we hope to see you back at school in a few short weeks. Thank you.